The most sought after ginseng in the world can be found right here in central Wisconsin. And we're celebrating for three days straight. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows and blacks Take a The good lands great Tonight We're just outside Wausau in the center of it all the 45th parallel, the 90th meridian. It's also the center of where American ginseng is grown. It's gotten so big here in Marathon County, there's actually an annual festival just to celebrate. Today, Eric and I are headed to the International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival. It's a little known fact that Marathon County is the leader in American ginseng production. The reason ginseng grows so well here around Wausau and Marathon County is because the climate is perfect. We're about the 45th parallel, halfway up the Northern Hemisphere, and a lot of areas where they grow it in China and over in Asia, that's also a similar latitude, so it's perfect for ginseng growth. And we also happen to have the 90th meridian here. We're halfway across the Western Hemisphere, so it's, it's just really cool that they junction right here, just northwest of Wausau. And for a lot of the travelers, we had world travelers coming in for the ginseng festival from China and Japan and places all over. That's one of the stops you could make going out of town a little bit. So that was kind of a cool thing for all of us. 95% of U.S. ginseng is exported right from Marathon County. And every year, Marathon County hosts an international festival. Folks come from all over the world just to celebrate ginseng in Wisconsin. The International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival is held every year in mid-September. Much of the festival takes place right on downtown Wausau's 400 block City Square Park. But there's also a wide variety of tours, demos, and activities throughout the entire area. Today was a great atmosphere. A lot of beautiful weather for running today. The weather held off and just a great crowd of people here. We've heard about the Ginseng Festival and we knew we wanted to stop here. Come for the music, come for the nice people, come for all the taste, things you can taste and learning about ginseng. Ginseng has come along as such a huge economic driver around here. It's become a very important crop. It's given Wausau a reputation in Asia for being a great place to get a quality product. And the city and the county have done a great job with this festival. I mean, there's so many different places you can see in and around town. The 400 block is very festive. There's so much going on from the music and the food and the beverages to the dancing and the costumery. It's basically a big party. It's a three day party. You know, you, you learn about ginseng, but you also get to try a lot of food, a lot of drinks, a lot of music, a lot of cultural performances. Uh, and it's right there in downtown Wasa, a really beautiful area of the state. It's a party that kicks off with an opening ceremony and the crowning of an official ginseng queen. The first international Wisconsin ginseng queen. Give a round of applause for Sarah Clavis. May your roots be long. So, basically, we have this entire festival dedicated to one little root that packs quite a punch when it comes to health benefits and has a huge impact on Wausau and Wisconsin in general. This brings our producers together, brings so many business together, and the local community is so supportive of all these international visitors here in the middle of Wisconsin. I love Wisconsin. It's beautiful and the people really nice and nature is so rich. And the food is good too. I uh, have obviously some, some personal ties to the American ginseng from uh, here in Washington, Wisconsin. I've been using it uh, throughout my career, uh, including uh, when I won the French Open in, um, in 1989 as a 17-year-old. So uh, I have a lot of uh, good memories there, and um, you know, ginseng has been playing uh, an important uh, role in my, in my health and in my uh, life ever since. Um, obviously, the Chinese have been using ginseng um, for a very, very long time, obviously with a lot of great results. And I don't know if Wisconsin really understands uh, uh, what a great crop that they have here. Um, this is not something that you could just take and just grow anywhere in the world. 
Find out more about the International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival at discoverwisconsin.com. And we're just getting started here. Stick around for ginseng flavored everything when we return. We're back in the Wausau area today on Discover Wisconsin. Okay, let's be honest. The best part about going to festivals in Wisconsin is the food. And that's a fact the International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival seems to know very well. Sweet, spicy, savory, you name it, they've got it. Burgers, ice cream, cheese curds, they put ginseng in just about everything. Even soda or pop, depending on what side of the debate you're on. And I'm here to sample all of it. Amazing. Mm. Crunchy? Yes. Very good. I'm looking forward to this. We started things off by trying the ginseng ice cream. I headed straight to that tent. <laughs> Where you will find ice cream, you'll usually find me. Good old Wisconsin girl right here. Love it, love it. <laughs> We're from North Central Technical College, and our culinary arts program created an ice cream as a little welcome gift to everybody who comes to the festival today. It's sponsored by Sue's Ginseng. They paid for all the ingredients, and we created a ginseng, cardamom, and clove ice cream. Uh, that we made all from scratch, 100% from scratch. It's all Wisconsin cream and milk in there, farm fresh eggs that we turned into um, a beautiful French style custard ice cream. Yeah, I see that guy just swiped the last two samples. He did, he did, he was right in there. Swiper. He I'm was right in there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is like unlike anything I've ever had before. Perfect. Very, very good. Then we really went all Wisconsin and headed to the cheese curd food cart. Oh, yes. We got that. <laughs> My cup overrunneth with <laughs> Sam G. Tang cheese curds. Look at this little guy. Mm. Mm. With a few appetizers out of the way, it was time for the main course. Look at this picture of perfection. We have a marinated patty with coleslaw on top and ginseng, obviously. And just one more dessert for good measure, ginseng almonds. And do you think these are good? I do. Yeah. You wouldn't make them if they weren't good, right? right. <laughs> I think people think ginseng's gonna have a weird flavor. Right. Mm -mm. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, and you taste that sweet cocoa in there for sure. Mm. They can't go wrong here. All the food's good. I've loved all of it. Okay. I'm stuffed. <laughs> yes. Now, Mariah got to experiment with all the ginseng foods. I got to do the drinks. So I'm about to try ginseng infused wine. So it's a clear mm. wine. Mm. It's, it's got a spicy smell mm -hmm. on the front. Mm. <laughs> there, yeah, it's spiced in the front, mm -hmm. and then it chills out yeah. toward the back. A end. little sweetness in the back. Yeah. I also partook in some ginseng infused beer, and you can do a lot of things with ginseng and beer. And that adds that same little kick to beer, and it was really good. And there was also a cola. It was ginseng, cranberries, and cherries. So it was all these Wisconsin crops in a soda bottle. I'm gonna buy like the rest. They had a ginseng infused coffee. It was a, there was mocha in it, and it was really good, and it had that healthy kick. I like it. So while the ginseng festival is centralized on the 400 block of downtown Wausau, there's actually plenty of activities to take in throughout the city of Wausau. I made my way to Monk Gardens for a cooking demonstration with Chef Nate. So today we're gonna be making a uh, wood-fired chicken. We're gonna have some ginseng lemongrass broth with that, uh, some kefir lime leaf, some sugar, kind of to balance out the bitterness in the ginseng itself. Um, and then um, some, some garlic and some thyme, also some shallot, just to give it a little bit of aromatic flavor. Um, and that'll complement the chicken nicely. We've also got some um, carrot, cabbage, uh, some leek, and some radish to kind of balance out the dishes as, as a whole. We had a great time up there. He made me saute, which in French means to jump, I learned. Uh, I failed miserably at that. <laughs> Good thing Chef Ney actually is a professional and knows what he's doing. Well, looks like I'll stick to my day job. Head to discoverwisconsin.com where you'll find a free ginseng fest itinerary. Up next, Eric gets his hands dirty. <sighs> Smells just like all the ginseng we've been enjoying. You won't want to miss this. We're back learning more about how one plant has shaped the past and present of Marathon County. All right, now out on the farm, out here in rural Marathon County, 
we're getting to our roots, literally. Gonna dig up some ginseng. While you're in town for the International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival, you actually have the opportunity to visit a ginseng farm and dig your own root. So you just grab your tools and dig in. And the ginseng roots, they're just under these mounds of dirt, under straw and everything. You just pull them right out and you just pull out that fresh ginseng. It smells like ginseng and a little bit of dirt. You just snap it in half and that freshness just oozes out of there and it's fantastic. What's really cool about this festival is the fun's downtown on the 400 block, but you also get to learn. And so we took a shuttle out to the Bauman Farm, which was really cool because they grow ginseng just northeast of the city. And we got to watch kind of the process and they have different plots of land with different pieces of ginseng uh, plantings on them because there's one-year-old ginseng, there's four-year-old, there's five-year-old. And when they harvest it, they have all these plants and all these humps in the field. One machine comes and tears all that down. Then the next machine comes in and digs it all up and the ginseng roots come out from that. This is ginseng root right here. This is four years old. And after we were on the farm, we went to the processing plant and saw how that took place. And really, really fascinating stuff. You'll learn how ginseng is harvested today, but you can also dive into ginseng's history here in Marathon County. So here on the Fromm Farm, there's a whole bunch of cool old buildings to check out. This is the old warehouse, built in 1924 and added on to a number of times throughout the years, as you can probably tell. A lot of foxes were in here. They have a long history here of raising foxes and growing ginseng, that classic pairing. And so they were famous for furs, fox furs, for years. And in the Great Depression, there'd be buyers from New York coming in. And they built all of these facilities for them, including a classic bowling alley, which is still there. There's a great clubhouse. We toured that whole thing. It was fantastic. But along with the foxes, they grew ginseng. They were one of the first. In fact, I think they were the first people to grow ginseng around here. Just a couple minutes walk from the 400 block is the Marathon County Historical Society. I popped in to get my own ginseng history lesson. We have uh, events at the Fromm Farm, at the Sioux Farm, and, and you know, certainly the modern story is, 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 is told. And so we kind of wanted to take a, a, a wider approach about you know, what is the history, how did it come about, and how did it develop um, in, in, in sort of a more historic perspective. Why do you think it's important for people to understand the evolution of it, and more specifically, ginseng's ties to Wisconsin? The average person, even, even in Marathon County, probably doesn't even realize how important it is. It's, 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 a, it's a big market, it's a, it's a big cash crop here. Um, and it's not something that we, you know, necessarily consume ourselves. And so it's something that's kind of deceptively important to our, to our economy. If you need a break from the hustle and bustle of the festival for a bit, take in the incredible view of Wausau from Rib Mountain. We just really enjoyed seeing all the different things that you can use ginseng for and tasting the tea and the candy. Lotion. We put lotion with ginseng on our hands. Then we were also just up on the chairlift seeing the top of Rib Mountain and getting some sun in our face some breeze in our hair, the trees were turning colors. It was really fun. We see you on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Let Eric and me know what has surprised you so far by using hashtag DiscoverWisconsin on social. Coming up, art, music, and a worldwide influence. It's all here at Ginseng Fest when we return. Welcome back to Ginseng Fest, right here on Discover Wisconsin. Art, music, and culture play a big role in the International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival. I was truly blown away by the talent I encountered while perusing the festival's poster contest at the Center for Visual Arts. People got so creative with their ginseng art. I mean, everything from computer graphics and digital illustration to watercolors, pastels. I was amazed by what people did with this. It was really, really beautiful to see. And they were all local artists. The art was actually for sale, so you could go in there to check it out. You could also buy up something if you were into it. The contest I entered was the uh, first international Wisconsin ginseng poster contest here in Wausau, Wisconsin. Um, and I'm a Wausau resident. I have been for about 25 years. It was a very interesting thing to enter because I had to do a lot of research and learn something about the area that I had no idea existed previously. 
This painting I call Glazed Ginseng. Glazing means it's transparent layers of acrylic with a glazed medium to make it shiny and see-through. So you start with darker layers, you end up with lighter layers. And I kind of did a drawing that reminded me of stained glass. I like to bring out uh, the, the, the final uh, ginseng poster, and that artist is Diane Chabonneau. Congratulations to uh, all the winners and the poster presenters as well. This festival draws in a lot of talent, including that of the musical kind. From an acoustic duo to a lively cover band, the energy is sky high here, thanks to the nonstop music and cultural performances. We always enjoy coming to uh, share our culture, history with the people, and here they get to see it kind of hands on right in front of them. So I think you learn things better about uh, our tribe if it's right here in front of you. So I always enjoy that and hope we can do it again. And that's the most fascinating part of this whole thing, really. The worldwide influence Wisconsin ginseng has. The diverse array of people and cultures from around the world who flock to Wisconsin to take it all in. Well, this is my first time visiting, and I've actually really enjoyed the landscapes and the people and the food, and, and, and it's been a really nice and lovely visit. Oh, the cheese curds. I was going to say, you had your first yeah, cheese curds. Yeah, my first cheese curds. <laughs> great beer, great nature preserves, and, and now knowing that it's a main grower of ginseng. As captivating as it was to meet folks from around the world, we also loved hearing about the impact this route has had on locals. So I have a tattoo on my arm of a, of a ginseng root and um, it was my first tattoo and I wanted to have something that was personal to me and it's, so it, it's a little bit of a reference to my roots growing up working uh, many, many long hours in the ginseng fields. Clearly ginseng is a major part of Marathon County from the economy to the culture to just what they like to celebrate. I think it's such a, a major part of, of the Wausau area in general and more importantly I'm not sure a lot of people realize that. I'd heard about ginseng in Wisconsin, I knew it was a big deal here in Marathon County but to really get here and celebrate that and, and um, to see how the Wausau area has really put Wisconsin on the map. You know for all over the world there's people who know this little corner of the nation as one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest centers for ginseng production. I think that's phenomenal. If you want to learn about an important Wisconsin product you may not know much about, if you want to see an international style festival in a smaller Wisconsin city, if you want to experience and welcome people from all over the world, the International Wisconsin Ginseng Festival is a great place to come. That was fun. That was, and I learned ginseng goes on everything. Those cheese curds were amazing. Mm -hmm. And I learned how they farm ginseng. I even pulled a root out of the ground myself. I love that they put you to work and I got to eat my way through the festival. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what are you going to do with all this healthy energy now? Keep partying. Good idea. I'm Eric Paulson. I'm Mariah Haberman. We'll see you next week. Discover Wisconsin is the state's leading media brand. Continue the adventure at discoverwisconsin.com and stream episodes on YouTube and Roku TV.